Long intervals between meals, such as eating twice a day with a 14-hour interval, I use this approach myself. And despite my advanced age, I'm in my 88th year, I continue to work actively, move around, and so on. My food contains glucose, the fuel that feeds the trillions of healthy cells in my body. But that glucose also feeds something else, zombie cells. Old, damaged cells that have lingered beyond their useful life. But what scientists have realized is that when we fast and cut off the supply of glucose, that zombie army is starved of energy, which saps them of their power. This is all very reasonable. The fact is that this phenomenon, that is such components of cells, or as they are called, compartments, known as mitochondria. And these aging cells uh, pose a great danger. They release toxic substances, provoke systemic inflammation, and essentially act as mechanisms of aging for the entire organism. Therefore, such aging cells must be destroyed as quickly as possible. New young cells should take their place, which will function normally and produce the necessary substances for the body. Fighting aging cells, one of the methods of combating them is fasting. Moreover, there can be different mechanisms of fasting, different styles of fasting, for example, long intervals between meals, such as eating twice a day with a 14-hour interval, I use this approach myself. And despite my advanced age, I'm in my 88th year, I continue to work actively, move around, and so on. I must tell you that there are natural substances that can accelerate these processes. It's not necessary for this fasting to last 36 hours. And natural substances, for example, vitamin B14 or pyroloquinolin quinone, resveratrols, branched chain amino acids, stimulate the birth of new mitochondria to replace the old dying mitochondria. Well, regarding excessive nutrition, fasting is often used precisely uh, to combat excess body mass and overweight. Fasting, reasonable fasting, truly leads to the breakdown of fats subcutaneous fats in particular, fats that, so to speak, surround or envelop tissues. This especially concerns the so-called abdominal fat. It is one of the mechanisms for the development of metabolic syndrome. This is very dangerous. This is a very effective way to rejuvenate the body and prevent many diseases. So these processes need to be organized wisely it would be good to be under the supervision of a competent doctor who could monitor the course of this fasting regimen to avoid problems. Because we are responsible in general, and there are people who have certain health issues, and not everyone can fast under any regimen. But in principle, this approach is reasonable, especially with the use of substances that stimulate the renewal of cells or intracellular compartments.